why would anyone play Deep Rock Galactic? Let me break it down for you. Killing bugs. Drinking beer. Dressing up like a freak. Guns. Lots of guns. And just having a good old time with your friends. This game understands what makes co-op fun. Deep Rock Galactic is a game with a very simple premise. You are a dwarf, you have an arsenal of guns and a pickaxe, and there is valuable stuff on the planet below. Drop down there, kill everything that moves, and steal everything that shines. I wonder if it's edible. The gameplay is equally simple. Pick one of the four classes. Gunner, who has big guns, a big ego, and gets depressed if his kill count isn't the highest at the end of the mission. Engineer, who can build with his platform gun and locks down areas with sentry guns. Rock and roll! Driller, who specializes in area damage and can make tunnels with his giga drills. And while every class can dig, Driller digs hard. And Scout, who has insane mobility thanks to his grappling hook, specializes in rushing ahead and dying, and can also illuminate the caves with his flare gun, which is more important than you might think. Once you've picked a class, walk up to the mission terminal, pick a particular mission you like in one of the biomes, and either host your own game or join someone else's lobby. Or, if you're antisocial, play solo. You'll get a cool robot to keep you company. Come here, you flying tin can! Every mission you play will be different from the last. The objective may be the same. Dig some minerals, fight some bug bosses, escort a drill dozer to a sentient orb of evil and extract its shiny core. Or kill a huge robotic death pyramid. Great job, team! You brought the force field down and enraged the caretaker. Deal with that thing post haste. But each and every mission will have unique, randomly generated terrain, events, and hidden secrets. In this clip, for example, a random ass meteor lands on top of a very annoying mini boss, kills it instantly, but also ruptures the egg of the actual boss of this level and triggers the fight. Prepare for impact. Clear the danger zone and take cover. I'm about to end this man's whole career. The game is as hard as you want it to be. If you simply want to relax and click on bugs, lower difficulties provide just that. Or, if you want to challenge yourself for higher rewards, play on the highest difficulty and see how far you get. Not every mission is going to be a success. Sometimes you will clutch a seemingly lost game, complete the main objective and then decide to do a side mission and die in the process, wiping all your progress. But you suck it up, try again, show the bugs you're not the dwarves to mess with. Yeah! One of the highlights of this game is customization. It allows you to play dress up with your dwarves to an insane degree. And while I prefer the more believable and down to earth outfit, you can go absolutely crazy with yours. On the gameplay relevant side, you can customize your passive and active perks, guns, pickaxe, tools, and armor. Guns can be modified by picking various modifications that affect its stats and behavior, and by applying overclocks that can either buff or straight up transform your gun in various ways. I'm going to show you the most obvious examples, but they're merely a fraction of what's available. Shotgun. Goofy shotgun. Crossbow. Triple crossbow. I hate nature. Funny crossbow. Death laser. I got it. A blender. Go lie down forever. Submachine gun. Submachine gun, but your turrets make a funny line of death. 
shit launcher. Shit shotgun. Shit artillery. Double barrel. Force and nature. Rocket launcher. Rocket shotgun. Goofy rocket launcher. Minigun. Goofy minigun. Plasma gun. Unreal Tournament Shock Rifle. Cryo Cannon. Snowball Cannon. Ice Spear Cannon. Grenade Launcher. Grenade Jumper. Nuke Launcher. Now, when deciding if the game is worth your money, one of the most important aspects to me is whether the game respects your time. And thankfully, Deep Rock Galactic does. You unlock new stuff and upgrades in the game using credits, which you get for doing virtually anything, and minerals, which spawn randomly across the map when you're on a mission. Most of the time you will have enough to unlock anything you want by just playing the game. The only nitpick I have is weapon overclocks, which I mentioned earlier, that buff your guns in crazy ways. You get those by completing special missions and can receive up to 7 of them each week if you do absolutely everything. The weekly limit hurts because there are 150 weapon overclocks in the game, and the urge to try them all is strong. Overall, however, the game never feels like a slog or a grind and with a good team of friends or randoms will never fail to put a smile on your face. Deep Rock Galactic is really a labor of love. The aesthetics, the voice acting, the music, the gameplay possibilities, it is all tailor-made for your enjoyment. And the community is surprisingly nice for an online game. If you like co-op games, at least give this one a try. Oh, and you can blow up your teammates. It's a good game. It's it's like a a Oh, I'm gonna get my back on you again. Why are you shooting at me?